Hey guys, Thomas from Team Soccer also here. Coming at you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Mark Watch. And we got quite a few bios to go over, actually. If you guys have not checked out my last video, this was actually a Mark Watch that was based on Champion Pack. It is a bit longer because there's a lot there was a lot to go over. I had uh, quite a few opinions on some of the cards, so make sure to check that out because I have not had a Market Watch bomb like this in uh well, I don't really remember. I want to say in about a year. But uh, I know champion pack cards, some players really can't care less about them, which is kind of understandable. Uh, the cards are definitely at a place where they're uh, worth more than what they should be, personally, especially the PSA versions. But that's for a different story. If this video can hit 80 likes, that would be awesome. Uh, it would really help me out with the algorithm. And it's nice to see that you guys like the video. If you're not subscribed, hopefully today's day I earn your subscription. If you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please use my affiliate link down in the description below. Help out the channel to no additional cost to you. And if you guys want me to go over any cards or alert me of any buyouts, let me know in the comment section below. I always love it when you guys give me cards to look over and you guys want my opinion on. Always love that. And with that being said, we're going to get right into it. So, Yujo Friendship here. Uh, you know, an old jump card. Off your opponent a handshake. If they accept your handshake, each player's life points become half the combined life points of both players. If you have unity in your hand and show it to your opponent, they must escape, must accept the handshake. This is just a cute card. I really love its effect. Uh, this is bought out, though, to uh, $400, but this is a factory sealed one, so... Comes with unity, usual friendship, all that stuff here. So, that's why this one's worth a little bit more. Uh, would you be pay should you be paying this price? No. Uh, I told people to grab these around $30. They're quite a lot of money, but they're an old jump card that's probably never going to get reprinted. And now we're sitting at sort of a undetermined price because the Nearmint did sell for $81. Uh, and we actually have graphs here seeing, you know, card kind of steadily going up to the moon. Uh, then you have Unity over here, which might be targeted for a buyout next. And I actually told people to get this as well because you get more copies for cheaper. I think I told people they could get them at like 6 7 bucks. Uh, we're going to go Light Play and Near Mints because there's only 53 of these. So, 7s for Light Play is going up to 8s. Uh, Near Mints from a Verified, however, is about... Hey, about 10 bucks. So that's actually not too bad. This card could be the next card going up, especially because, you know, it goes with uh, you, Joe, Friendship. So I will get this card while you can because it's going to go up to Moon and you're going to make some serious profit. Uh, Glider Beast Sam Knight. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, I told you guys to grab this when it was like 12 bucks. Um, I said it's an amazing, uh, a good card to get because it is used in formats back then. It's not really that good. I'm going to be honest with you here, but it's a harder card to get and some gladiator piece beast players from back then do enjoy this card uh it's a bit debated however if you got this at 12 congratulations because damage start at 30 light plays they're gonna start around 48 dollars right not too bad near mids however 60 bucks so if you got this you basically multiplied your money that you put this card by five so pretty good overall brothers of legends we have the pre-sales for this set and honestly they're actually not that bad so we have Dragoon here at $700. I'm not too shocked. I don't know what the pool rates are. I think they're like one every two boxes probably. So $700. Uh, whenever we're at the point of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where instead of getting a reprint of a card. We're going to be like, hey, I know you spent $120 on the original Secret But we have a more rare, nicer version we're going to release in eight months. That's going to be worth way more. And now there are two printings of the card. So their players can get it more. And I, I, no money, man, I swear. $700. They, they couldn't put this, they couldn't put the Starlight and the Normal Ultra in there, a rare, into this set. That's just pitiful. Uh, number 17, just, I'll be honest with you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't get this card at all. If you, if you really want to get this card, get the Ghost Rare here. Uh, okay, no, wrong version still. Uh, first editions here for Near Mints. Well, let's go Light Play and Near Mint. Uh, Light play is going to be about 86. Not that bad at all. Near mints are going to be about $105. Uh, it's way, if you pull a Starlight Rare number 17, and they actually are worth 245 when you get it, because I believe we get it on Friday, um, or they're worth, like, let's say, 200 Sell it immediately and get a Ghost Rare and do whatever you want with the rest of the money. Uh, this is a way better investment overall. This is going to sell it go up. I think we're gonna, number 17 Starlight is going to probably crash to 120 uh, and stop right over there. Uh, but 
We have Droplets at 97. Now, it's really funny to me how people thought our first reprint of this card was going to be affordable. Uh, I don't know why Yu-Gi-Oh! players keep saying, oh, when we get the first reprint, it's not going to be more than $20. I just don't know where these crack-headed opinions come from. I really don't. Like, we've been through Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot of times. Like, I've had heard people saying, oh, access code's not going to be much money when it gets repaired. Oh, talents won't hit, hit 25 even. And, I, you know, for their reprints. And I'm like, what? what are these people talking about? Like, do they get upset being constantly wrong? Who knows? But, yeah. Uh, $97. Boxes are 85s. Uh, Magician Souls here is about $67, going up to 69 This card will probably drop. I feel like this card will go to 50 About $40, $50. But it's gla I'm glad we're getting this reprint. I assume that uh, for the next, uh, you know, Duels of Legends. Uh, I forgot what <laughs> exactly what it was called. But, uh, le no, Legendary Duelist. Uh, season 3, we're not gonna, it's gonna be for the better Legendary Duels, because they can't give us a Legendary Duels 3 now, because the set would, wouldn't sell that good, because they just put the best cards in here. Malicious Bane here, now listen, this card will actually go down, because this is a one of for heroes only. If there's a big surplus, we could see this card going down to at least 15. Uh, same with Adjusted Gold here. Uh, Wing Requital here at about $11 here. Uh, if all monsters you control are Wing and Beast monsters... And you control these two monsters with different original names. So you pay 600 life points. Draw two cards. This card's pretty good, actually. Because in, like, Bird Up, you know, Lyrisix, you know. Uh, I believe Tribigate as well. This is just really good. Uh, you know, so this is going to be seeing qu uh, quite a bit of play. 11, I don't know how there's a damage already for 1099. I don't know why they think that's going to sell. Like, why would I not spend the one extra penny to get a near mint? Like, uh... I just I just don't get people sometimes. Uh but we're gonna we're gonna move on from that awful decision. Uh number 89 Die Balls, the mind hacker. People have been waiting this for a long time because the only other version of this was the jump version. So it's glad that we get this. We also get another Nibiru uh at twelve dollars. I expect that to be around I don't expect it to drop below ten. Maybe it'll drop below nine, but probably not. Astro Karibo, you know. Collector card, Yaoi, three bucks. Speedroid, Scratch, two forty. Ultra Geist, Pukuri. Hopefully, I'll be able to get mine. Uh, four or five bucks, pretty good. I honestly think you guys should be picking up Geist. Uh, you should have picked up a Geist core when it was ten dollars for Ultras. Now you can pick up the rares for little pennies, so you can actually play this deck, and that's great. But you can play high rarity for ten dollars, and even if you got high rarity and you don't mind playing the gold rares. In fact, I've seen people say, "Hey, the gold rares look pretty nice. I actually like playing them." If you have Ultras like Ultra Melisic, Ultra Marionette, uh, and things like that, I mean, Secret Multi Fakers are dollars if you want to at least play those. I would keep those, but you could sell them as well. They're worth more than what you paid for them. Uh, bird strikes are threes. That's not that bad, actually. Starving, uh, Veni Venemi. This just sounds like an ooh card. I, I kind of hate it. Two bucks here. And then we basically have a bunch of... Oh, we're getting number four. Oh, that's cool. Did, did we already have number four? Oh, no, we didn't. Uh, two level four monsters. All face-up monsters in the field become water. That's kind of a cool effect, to be honest. Once per turn during your main phase, quick effect, you can destroy one monster on your, your opponent controls. If you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack it had on the field. That's good, actually. Why is this only $2? Because this is... I, okay, yes, it's during the main phase as a quick effect. So it's an interrupt that destroys the card and you do burn damage. That's kind of cool. If this XYZ coming, uh, YZ summon card is destroyed, you can special summon... Stealth Kragen spawns from your extra deck up to the number of materials this card had. Then you can attach up to one water monster from your graveyard to each of those special summon monsters as a material. This card seems amazing. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I think this card's really good. Uh if I'm if guys, if I'm on crack, let me know. But like that seems like an amazing card, actually. For two dollars, uh grab that. You know what? Yu-Gi-Oh! players can't read, but that's why you're watching my videos, baby. I read sometimes. Then you got basically a bunch of other like you know four bucks on map here, D force. <laughs> I laughed the first time I read this. I'm laughing the second time. Uh, Dragon Air at two twenty five. I feel like they could have reprinted a few more cool cards in here. But yeah, then you have Relinquish Anima about two seventy five. Uh, if these go to two dollars, I would say grab some. I end up getting rid of my ultras because secrets are gonna look better and I like money. Two dollars for Gadarlas. Uh, this is actually quite cheap, especially, 
uh, you know, with how it's actually being used currently. Uh, I would say go crazy, crazy on them, but I would I would actually grab like three play sets or something. Necro Fates from Gladiator's Assault. Uh, we have a dan uh, let's see what we have here. First, I play French here for three hundred. Uh, how much are the English copies? Uh, eight fifty. Ooh, we got Italian here near Mintar. Like, I I'm sorry, but imagine spending uh, this amount of money on a card that is not a PSA card. No thank you, buddy. No thank you. In fact, uh, the other virtuals are worth some money, too. Like, three bucks for supers. Commons are, like, two, three bucks. I would actually grab a place of supers. Like, Konami really do does not like this card. I they do not like reprinting it at all. Like, the common was a god savior of, of a reprint. Uh, Necro Valley, Ultimate Earth from Astral Pack 4. Doesn't really have that many listings, actually. Uh, has about 20 here. Uh, Lady Plates are 117. Near Mints are 120. The big, and it does quickly go up to 130, 140. I feel like this card would have been bought out a lot earlier if Necro Valley wasn't eroded, like, a ton of times. Like, uh, Necro Valley, if you guys don't know, is the most eroded card in the game, and I think it has about 8 erratas? 9? Uh, something along those lines. Curse, Necrofear, Legendary Duels, and Mortal Destiny here. Uh, these are about 43 bucks here. I'm not shocked. It's a collector card. It's the only other good Ultra in Mortal Destiny besides the two hero cards. Uh, those are like the only good cards. Then there's this, and then there's uh, Verte. Uh, you know, the Preplant Fusion as a super, and that's about it. Uh, hot take. They should have released Anaconda in that set, possibly. Necro World Banshee uh, from Zombie Horde. If you guys don't know, these are like, you know, $15. Now, this will get reprinted eventually because Konami understands that their structure decks are worth a lot of money now. But we just don't know when. So, you know, 11 bucks here for the Doom King Baldrock. Uh, well, okay, actually, that's direct. That doesn't count. Uh, 7 bucks. I do hate how they have direct, like, right over here. Like, no, I actually want to see what the listing is. Uh... You know, these are about, what, fours, possibly? Uh, about closer to six, really. Hmm, okay. Uh, Solitaire's at fours, you know, Mizuki's at three, Gozuki's at two. Dar 50 on Necro, two bucks on the uh, Zombie Worlds. That's crazy. You could get Ultras for the same price. Don't get those. Anti-Spells are a dollar. Uh, Mask of Restricts are a dollar. Shared Rides are 70 cents. Dollar on the Burial? That's really re weird. Book of Life dollar, uh, yeah, you have value, and you zombies are a nice little thing to have. I'm just looking at, oh, yeah, you know, Metaverse is cute, you know, uh, Monster Gate's cute for a quarter, and yeah, this, uh, this, uh, this structure deck's just loaded. Uh, Sky Cavalry Centura here, going for crazy, crazy here, uh, 30 bucks, should you grab this card? No, I know it's used in Tri Brigade, uh, now, because it can actually be pretty good, but, I, I don't know. I feel like this card just needs a reprint and it needs to die off. Uh, Earthbound. Earthbound Immortal Chaka Kulha. Uh, I told you guys to get this tin version a long time ago because I think a lot of tin cards are very highly underrated, even to this day. In fact, I eventually need to have a tin market watch where I go over seal tins and their uh, singles there because I feel like there's a lot to discuss there. Uh, I probably like doing special market watch once a month. Uh, but maybe if I get bigger, I'll, you know, I'll start doing two. Or, if one of my channel members wants me to do an extra one, uh, in addition to the one I like to do, and which it is December, so if you guys want to see some uh, new, uh, certain, uh, you know, market watches or whatever, and you're a $50 channel member, let me know. Uh, and if you guys want to be a YouTube channel member, that would also help as well. And remember, if you don't have money, and you still want to help, I mean, if you're buying cards off TCG Player, use by filling down in the description below, but... To be honest with you, the fact that you've watched this far in the video already makes me kind of happy. Like, don't get me wrong, if you do a little extra sure, it's nice. But, like, the fact that people give me some of the time of their day and we get to be entertained together and have some fun, I mean, I'm not going to be ungrateful, you know. But, we're going to get look into this. So, now these are, well, it says sixes, light plays are eight, uh, 50, okay. Uh, near mints are about 10. Not too bad, going up to... Not too many copies left at 14. If you want to grab some of the light plays, I still think the light plays in your mints are a bit cheaper than they what than what they should be. 12 years old, anime card, not bad. Fallen of Albaz here. Uh, secret rares, these are about first heads are 
$28 going up to 33 I actually have mine. I got them back again because they're just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love how this card looks. Uh, it reminds me of Devil May Cry. I suck at that game, but I love Devil May Cry, and it just looks awesome. In fact, I have not actually bought a structure deck and played with it in... I don't even know how many years. Like, and, and if anyone's thinking, oh, what about the salad one? No, that salad's boring to play, right? I remember when that structure deck came out, and I and literally you would... I actually just put in side deck cards for main during that week and the second week, and I ended up getting, like, top three uh, in, like, th the, all three tournaments I played within those two weeks because... 90% of the matchups, like 89% were salad. It was just so dumb. Earthbound Immortal, uh, Raska's Secret Rares. I told me I'll get these at 50 cents, actually. Uh, and now we don't have that many left on the market, actually. Uh, light plays are, yeah, you have 17 here, going up to 260. Yeah, haha, -ha, that's funny. Uh, near mints are now $4. Kind of going up to... Huh. These are actually going kind of nuts. Five bucks here for near mint. Near mint. You guys should actually probably get these light plays while you can. Uh, I personally got ten. Because they were for 50 cents. I was like, ooh, penny stock. And this isn't a penny stock. This is this is a couple bill payment for McDonald's meal stocks. Like, really, I spent probably like a McDonald's Happy Meal. You know, the Wendy's five for five, to be more specific. And uh, I might be able to pay a bill or two. Probably two bills if that near mate goes up to 20. Uh, Earthbound Immortal, uh, Kakarlia. By, by the way, sorry if I mispronounce this. I always think that this guy and where is he? Uh, did I go over this? Oh, wow. I have the same one. And this guy are like the same thing sometimes. I always get them mixed up. But uh, ultis here. Someone said these were getting bought out. So I kind of want to look here at Unlimited and for set. So light play here for 11. That's actually not too bad. I actually feel like the Unlimited... Immortals are actually not that bad either, but first edge used to be around ten dollars and man I wish I got these so yeah, they even the first edge or the unlimited is quickly go up first I play 60 Yeah, you got a few and then there's 90 for near mint here So there's not there's only like five first edge copies that are not chewed on in the market And it is starters overdrive very hard to get first edge. So make sure to get those while you can uh, Immortal ask La Piscu. Now, this was used in FDKs like a couple months back, and it's got bought out like crazy. So, I actually want to look what these are. So, Lightly Plays are 24s. Near Mints are like 30. Yeah, 32. First Eds are... So, you have a First Ed Light Plays for 40 here. Uh, seeing that all the other immor all, uh, Earthbound Morals are like 100, 150, stuff like that. This might not be too bad to pick up, actually. I would definitely grab this and not the Unlimited at all. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll go over near mints, but near mints are sixty-five. I would, if I were you guys, it's just paying, uh, you know, for a near mint, sixty-five dollars. Although after this one's gone, they go to seventy-eight. I would just get the two light plays. Uh, that's personally what I would do. Uh, Apu here. Apu's like my least favorite. Lightly plays are twenty-three, twenty-four. First eds that aren't chewed off. Are you know? Let's just put the filter on. Mob plays are thirty. Light plays are forty. Eh, not too bad here. Forty near mints are well one fifty because I can't count non-verified. So if you want to grab some light plays for, you know, we got fifty-three here, sixty-three. Go, not a bad idea. Go for it. Uh, Raska here for the ultis. I actually do have one of these. Uh, 25s, hmm, not bad. I remember getting at, like, 14. I just think this guy looks cool. Uh, first eds are mob play 44. Uh, first ed near mints are, well, first ed light plays are 80. Near mints are 95. You know, not too many left on the market. If you guys want to grab some first ed, again, Stardust Overdrive, gonna go crazy. I would go for, I feel like we're gonna start seeing first ed PSA, our Earthbounds, in the next, like, three, four years. Uru here is about... Lightly plates are like 13, and the thing is, these these cards are going to slowly cr climb up, I feel, and they're going to kind of go crazy. Uh, like, ev this card even kind of starts slowly, but surely going to the moon. First dead light play, 91, 111, near mids are 140, so this card's already kind of going up. I actually think getting the unlimiteds for, at this point, I mean... Except for this copy, once we have this copy, you, it, the difference between first set and unlimited is a hundred dollars. 
And it's 10 in 110, so that's kind of crazy. Or like 11 to 111, you guys get the point. Uh, Earthbound Immortal Kusila here is about 8 bucks. I actually really like this guy. I think he's the worst one, but he's cool. Yeah, you have a lot here for like 10 bucks. I would just grab near mitts, but first eds are going to be 74s. Not too bad here. Uh, and then $90. Not too bad. Um, I also want to mention uh, here... Since we're actually on, you know, guys side here. I actually like to talk... You guys know I like to talk about a little bit about anime. Do you guys remember for the old school anime fans? How Mirai Nikki was the shit. And then everybody slowly but surely started to hate it throughout uh, the years. I love Mirai Nikki. But I'm not going to act like it's amazing. And I'm not going to act like it doesn't have a lot of plot holes. But man oh man. Is it a pretty hype anime. I think uh, the first opening is pretty dope. And then the ending, Blood Teller, pretty awesome as well. Like, I think the whole Mirai Nikki OST was, like, such an underrated banger for back then. Uh, I I've, I remember, I watched, like, the first seven episodes in one sitting, which I know a lot of people say, oh, I watched the whole thing, you know, blah, 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 but I didn't have time when I was, like, 11 or 12. And I was, I think, no, I was, like, 13, actually, or 14 when I watched this. And I was like, whoa, th this series is awesome. And I kind of went into a whole Yandere phase well, not, where I was like, dude, Yandere's are awesome, you know. And, you know, it's just because, you know, I didn't have a dad. My mom didn't pay attention to me because she was mentally ill. <laughs> and that, that's how you get these guys who like Yandere, by the way. I'm, I'm outing myself here, but it is what it is. Dating women who are actually crazy, crazy, which I've done multiple times and I'm getting married to one. Not so fun, but hey, you know, maybe, maybe my... Uh, my interest in women started a little bit with with uh, Mirai Nikki. Who knows? You know, you know, guys, I best the Andre. I, I have to admit, I don't like the genre much at all anymore. But, like, I can rewatch Mirai Nikki and enjoy the shit out of it because I love this character. Uh, you know. Oh, also, uh, you know, no listings, of of course. But uh, what are some other animes you guys are actually watching uh, that are, like, kind of similar to Mirai Nikki, by the way? Some, like, old school classics, kind of like Mirai Nikki. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you guys want to get me a Christmas present, I should actually mention this because a lot of people have been asking me what I want for Christmas. And I'm like, aren't you supposed to get me something? But I guess it's better to make sure that you get people, you know, something they like. Because, hey, at least they're getting something, right? But uh, if you guys want to help out the channel, uh, you know, by or not even help out the channel, but give me a Christmas present. I actually never really plug this much anymore. But I do have my PayPal in the description below. You guys could do it if you want, but... You know, you don't have to. Uh, Mardell, Generator Boss of Light here. Uh, these are about $27. This card, to me, is absolutely busted. And I'm glad we got ours for 5 apiece. Because whenever it's normal or special, you add a generator or a plant from your deck to your hand. Except Marvel. Uh, you know, except for itself, essentially. Uh, now, it is a level 9, sadly. If it was level 8, it would have been so much better. I would have, If this was level 8, I would have loved to play this in Sylvan's. And just see how that deck does. Because now you're just searching and drawing like crazy. And man, I, I need Sylvans to get support. I If you guys don't know, I really love that deck. That deck is like super fun. And yet, now you can play it actually. And I kind of want to playtest with it again as well. And maybe see how Mardell like works out. But I don't know. I Just again, it was one of the... It was like plant spam XYZ. But you get like a ton of cool unique effects while you do it. Like excavating was always fun to me. Uh, I just wish they got a little more support. Like, give them two or three cards going on. Like, come on now. Uh, Lore Park is getting bought out. It has, like, 10, 12 listings here. Uh, you know, six eighty four, eight dollars $8, 9 Quickly goes up to a $10 card. Uh, Mathmec Edition here is, uh, adding up. Ha <laughs> ha, funny. seven fifty. No, thank you. Nobody's playing this deck. Geo Mathmec Final Sigma. Now, this card's actually kind of cool. Um, so... It's just what it's generic as well, which is really nice. And it only takes two, which is really nice, because if you like have like say a big monster, and then you can special something like a level three tuner or level two tuner, you can make this. It's nice because a lot of the bigger synchros take three monsters, and I've always kind of disliked that because I was like, I'm cool with the requirements. Just why does it have to have this many monsters? Uh, at least for some synchro monsters, but it don't affect my card effects except for math mech cards. While in the extra monster zone, if this card. In the extra monster battles, any an opponent's monster, any battle damage if like your point is doubled, and if this card is destroyed by battle, uh, or if it's destroyed by your opponent's card effect, 
Uh, which, I mean, it's not affected by card effects, so... But it, I guess if they, you know, forbidden chalice, then maybe remove it that way or whatever. Uh, you have an epic card from your hand. It's pretty good because I like how it's a secret card playing with the extra monsters. I find that very unique. But it's a level 12 that's unaffected by card effects besides math max that d does, you know, double damage. It's like having, like, a weird, cool-looking Power Ranger Utopia in your extra deck. These are, like, $7. I had a bunch of these that I moved because I thought the cards just looked cool and I wanted them. Uh, Maximum Goal El Dorado here. We're going to go through this. So, access codes are 64 I knew these would be at least $60, $70. When I saw them at 43 I was kind of shook. So, I think this is fine. If you guys are like, oh, but it's too much money. Well, you've been waiting for the card for a while. I told people to grab them at 40 If you didn't, this is what you're paying. Tough cookie. Extravs, uh, let's see how much Extrav actually is going for. Now, these were 15s. Now, they're 19. So, they're slowly going up. I told people to get these at 14 to $15, uh, which you have a uh, new seller here. That's two copies for 14 with that $0.99 cent shipping. So, you know, if you want to get them for, hey, 5 bucks a copy cheaper uh, and you want to take a gamble, go for it. But but new sellers, I don't trust them for, like, bigger, like, orders above 15 20 bucks. Like, that's just me. And people are like, well, how are they supposed to grow? Easy. List cheaper cards. I was a new seller before, too, and people did the same thing, and I fully understood. Uh, Anacondas, $12. Uh, I was talking with a buddy of mine, and he said, well, actually, no, this is... You got six here for 12s, and now they're fifteen fifty. So, can this card get hit? Yes. Yes, it can. But if it doesn't, it's going to go up. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys to grab this or not. I would just... I Okay. I would not hoard these, but make sure you have one or two copies. Right? Say, if you want to take a gamble, a little bit of a gamble, hold on to two of your gold copies. Yo, know, Bellas comes out, sell the other one, and then you have what the play as. If you really like playing blackjack and gambling, everything, yeah, get a bunch of these, sure. But if it gets banned, you just lost a ton of money. Uh, Chamber Dragon Mates here are what, like 15 bucks here? Yeah, 15s, and they're probably going to go even higher as time progresses. Uh, oh, IPs, I don't know how I skipped this. Uh, 17.50 going up to 18, 19 dollars. Uh, people just love this. It just looks cool. In fact, I actually want to get the binder and all that stuff. I think it would look really cool. Invocations are very cheap because I don't think Invo that whole Alistair engine is going to get hit because people are just bored of seeing it. And people don't know to differ how to differentiate seeing an engine that's boring and you see it a lot and an engine that's unhealthy or broken for the game, right? Uh, this engine is pretty good. It's just, it comes in and out of the format, and it never really defines the format anymore like it used to, right? And even in decks like when it's used with Dogmatica, it's because it's with Dogmatica, right? And that's why it's good. And sometimes the cards clash, all that. Uh, I would actually grab a bunch of these because if Supers could go to $35, uh, Golds can go up to 15 20s. Uh, Red Eyes about 9s. There are only 40 listings as well, by the way, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn here. Uh, how much are these actually? Seven going up to eight. Not too bad here. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Now, I told people to get these at fours because they were going to go up to tens. And they actually did go up to about nine dollars. And I was like, wow, I was right. Ha ha, funny. But now they're 750. You know, they quickly go up to like eight bucks with shipping though. And actually, in fact, eight dollars right here. In fact, let's just let's just click near mint to see how fast it goes to eight dollars. One, two, three, four, you know. Basically it's closer to an eight dollar card. It's not too bad, but card could go up higher. If you got these at four fives, well at least you doubled your money, you know what I mean? You can't really be too upset when you double your money, but I still think it could go up to ten, eleven dollars. IPs are eight, rescue cats are like at least it's affordable now. Uh Golden Lords are what? Like Yeah, eights here. Cursed Eldlands are about 6s to 7s here. Now, the reason why this card's worth a lot of money is because uh, when we had the Black Friday deal, a lot of people were waiting to get their maximum gold cards then, and this is a 3 of, and it's not particularly short print, but, you know, it is what it is. Dark Magicians at 6 aren't too bad either. Gammas at about 5s, not shocked. That's why I told people to grab them at 275 3 bucks. 
Uh, Red Two Cats at fives. Yeah, the alternate art looks cool, but honestly, I like the original way more. Uh, I would actually grab these because Rescue Cats were at their cheapest, like six, seven dollars for the longest time, uh, and I'm talking years. So this, these aren't too bad. Bigfoots are like four fifty. That's actually not too bad either. Uh, Alternate Black Rose here, man. I just, I would rather play my Ghost and all the other stuff, but this, this does look cool. I have one for the collection. Which, oh, by the way, I actually forgot to mention this. Uh, the collection video is coming out soon, guys. Uh, it might come in two, three weeks, but it's gonna come soon. OTS Pack 17 opening was supposed to come out as well, and uh, I've just been having issue with my editor over that, and it, it's kind of being messy, but we'll get to you guys soon. Uh, $4 for Mystic Mind, not too bad. $3 for, uh, you know, Red Eyes Dark Dispel. You know, in fact, with Mystic Mind, I've actually been thinking that I should invest in this because I win either way, because if it gets banned, I'm glad because I fucking hate this card. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, you, you need to play the, the, the outs. The, the, the out, you know, almost every single, every single card in the game has an out. So does that mean we should un not have a ban list? Exactly. This card's crazy, right? If you don't have the out, you're going to be sitting there for five turns. And the game becomes extremely boring, right? Now, it's not like, say, Imperial Order, where, you know, your outs can be like, you basically can't activate your outs because let's say you, you know, play Cyclone. Unless you could, you have in your hand to chain, you know, it's gone. In fact, I actually do like Imperial Order at one, by the way, though. I know that's like a hot take. Like, oh, it should be banned. Oh, it should be at zero. I, I like it at one. It, it's it's nice. It's fun. Uh, three bucks on Red Eyes. I don't know why it was $3. Remember how I told you guys to get like, tw ten to, like a bunch of these? Well, uh, if you did, you made a lot of money. So good job. In fact, if this starts ever getting used, it's going to go up to four or five. Torrentials at twos. I actually think you should grab this right now. Bigfoot's $2. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, nah, bad. Hospitality is actually grabbing a cup, a bunch of these aren't too bad. I think it could be a five dollar rare. Sanguine's at a dollar two. Man, these are really cheap. Actually, if you guys want to grab a few of these alt arts, that might be worth it. Mechabuzz has straight dollar. I'll try our, our, our uh, firewalls here. You know, silent mining's at dollars. Our urgent schedule's at about a dollar. That's actually very good. I would pick these up immediately. Twin Twisters, once it starts getting used, this could be a four or five dollar card. I mean, I just. Oh, we're going to see it eventually, right? Get keys at about a dollar. You know, Exodia heads at about a dollar. Those are cheap. Uh, and yeah, this whole set has so many penny stonk that's not even funny. Like, really go to the. We have to go to the fifth page to see it. Like, Lambda's at a dollar twenty. Neos is at a dollar. Which I'll conclude the giveaway probably next market watch. Dollars on Juggernauts. That's not too bad since the. Seek, you know, the other versions are worth quite a bit. Uh, Nessie's at a dollar, pretty good. Uh, Omega's at a dollar, Q, Upstart's at a dollar. Book of Moons, now that's pretty awful. Just get the Ultras for like 50 cents. Trap Tricks at a dollar. Uh, Mirage's at a dollar, very good. Doo Doo Doo's at a dollar, is amazing. 60 listings, by the way, that's not that much. Uh, then you have, you know, Striker Dragons at 65 cents. That's cool to play with. Again, just look through these penny stonks, and they're pretty good. Rainbow Neos for fifty cents. That's pog. Uh, Seventy-five cents. I mean, we've had the rares go up to two, three dollars before. This could probably follow suit. Ancient Gear Fusion could easily be a two, three dollar rare. Oh, excuse me as well. Uh, roses are fifty-seven cents. That's cute, but not really that good. You guys get the point here. Togat from the Underworld Ultimate Rare here. Uh, Lightly plates are three fifteen. Near mints are. 347 here, and then going up to 407, 445. I wish I got a bunch of these. I would have been rolling in dough. Uh, in fact, let's look at these secret rare as well. 34 listings here. Let's see, are you under 100 for first heads? First head I put 80 bucks, going up to 83. Alright, how about near mints? 122, 125. Lightly plates at 83 is not that bad. Man, I love how beautiful this card looks. I was actually talking to someone, a customer of mine who came back, and I was actually thinking of having this, you know, um, time where we used to talk, uh, you know, this whole video about talking about older formats. Because people don't know how summoning this and then making, like, Acid Golem or Wind Up Zen Mains was so hard to get over. And it was just funny to me. Dark Magician Girl from Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1. I told y'all guys. I told you, I told you, I told you that the, uh, to pick this up. 
many, many times. And we finally got a super rare version of it, like shown on TCG Player. Now, let's see how much these are going for. Same same thing as last time, actually. $13. $13. Now, we have 43 listings, right? But we do have some pretty big walls here. Uh, Going up to $18. I still think this is an amazing penny stonk. And then you have a vent pack from Speed Duel here. Uh, the air Speed Duel version. You have Lightly Plays for like 20 Near Mids for like 23 I think this is good to get because if they ever discontinue Speed Duels or, you know, as it goes on, this is going to be a very rare and hard to get version, right? Because they, they specifically gave these out for an event or something. So this is not a bad relic to grab. But if you guys enjoyed this mark watch, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. If you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please use my filling link down in the description below. It helps out the channel to know the show costs you. In fact... We actually had a day where uh, someone spent enough to actually pay. How how would I say this? Probably pay. Probably pay for groceries, like a, for like a family of five, and it was really nice to see that in one day. Like, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, what you guys want me to go over in the next Mark Watch, let me know because I'm not a mind reader. Peace.